Hi, this is Presh Talker. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can win at Connect4 every time. This is really cool. It's the first time something like this has been put online. So Connect4 is a board game where two players drop discs of different colors. And the object of the game is to create four in a row of your own color discs. And you can create this four in a row horizontally, it can be vertical, or it can also be diagonal. In a typical game, each player is going to try and set a trap so that they can create four in a row. But at the same time, the opponent is trying to block those traps and trying to create four in a row of their own. So what usually happens is the game goes on for several moves, and it only ends when one player is forced to play in a spot so the other player can connect four in a row or more. So in general, there are three ways that you can win in the game. One is your opponent can make a mistake. Another is you can create a double attack. Or a final way you can win is if the opponent has to be forced to move in a spot that allows you to win. So we'll go through these in turn. So one way you can win is if your opponent makes a mistake. So here red should block the three in a row from the blue. But if red plays incorrectly, then that leaves blue open to make a four in a row. Another way you can win is if you can create a double attack. So here red is going to make a mistake and this allows blue to create a double attack. These three blue chips at the bottom will allow blue to complete a four in a row on either the left or the right side. So no matter where red plays, blue will always be able to complete the attack and complete four in a row. The final way you can win is if both people are playing very smartly, I'll explain the color codes later, the game will actually go on for many, many moves. No player is going to make a mistake. No player is going to allow the other player to have a double attack. And the way the game ends is when one player, red right here, is forced to play in this final column, which allows blue to place the chip and win on this final move. I'll also mention that there are ways the game can end in a tie. So there are ways that the disc can be dropped and neither player can end up winning the game. You can fill up the entire board. What's the interesting part for us is that Connect4 has been mathematically solved and with proper player, player one can always win. This is the first time a solver like this has been put online and we can thank Professor Dan Garcia at University of California, Berkeley and his Game Crafters group. This was a massive computing project as there were over 4.5 trillion board configurations that they had to go through to figure out an optimal strategy. The bottom line is that if you play first and follow this strategy, you can always win. So what you want to do, I've left a link for the Game Crafters website, is go to the Game Crafters website and select the board which has 7 columns and 6 rows and you want to connect 4 in a row. So this puts you on a screen where you can play connect 4. So you hover your mouse over the screen, and when you click, that'll drop the disc in a particular column. To see how you can win every time, click on the display option for move values. This gives you a color-coded value for what each move will result in the game. Green will mean that's a place where you can have a winning move, yellow means it'll result in a tie, and red means you'll have a losing move. So blue plays in the center, and that's a winning move, and now, when you look at red, no matter what red does, it's always a losing move, and the prediction is that red will lose in 40 moves. So let's assume red plays in the center. Now there's only one spot that blue can play to win the game. If blue plays anywhere else, it's a mistake, and with proper play, red could actually win the game. So it's very important that you follow the strategy exactly as it's shown. So blue has to play carefully, and here's an example, like after the first column is filled, blue can play to the left or right to win. If blue plays two columns over from the center column, the game could result in a tie if red plays properly. Let's assume blue makes a mistake and plays in the far column. Now it's actually the case that red can win the game, if red plays in this proper column, and then continues following the strategy as described by the solver. 
So the solver will assume that both players are trying to block. They will never make a mistake by just allowing the other person to get four in a row easily. It will also assume the other, it'll also prevent the other player from getting double attacks. So when both players are playing optimally, what ends up happening is that you will end up with a forced win for one player. So now we only have a couple moves left and blue, there's only one spot blue can play and then that allows red to win by filling up the board. The other cool thing I'll mention is that Game Crafters has also solved different size boards. So instead of just the seven columns, six rows, connecting four in a row, there are different configurations you can have that have also been solved. So let's do an example of five by five connecting four in a row. When we look at the move values, this game is actually a fair game in the sense that it could result in a tie. It's like tic-tac-toe. If both players play properly, it could actually end up in a tie where no one wins. But you can make mistakes and that could lead to a win for one of the players. So it's a really cool website and you should check it out. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can support me on Patreon. Catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions on Twitter at Presh Tallwalker, and you can get my books listed on my website.